This is a Lenovo gaming laptop. It's not your standard gaming laptop though. The WASD keys are a bit different. They're force enabled and they're really quite clever. Hey guys, I'm Matt and welcome to Kit Guru. Today we're checking out some brand new keyboard technology that can be found inside this Lenovo Legion 7 gaming laptop that's in front of me. Now while this video isn't a laptop review, we'll quickly go over the specs before we dive into looking at the Paratech force enabled keys and the Hydra configuration software for those keys in a bit more detail. This laptop is sporting a Ryzen 9 6900HX CPU a Radeon RX 6850M XT 12GB GPU, 32 gigs of DDR5 memory running at 4800 MHz. It's got a 16 inch 2560 by 1600 IPS display with a 165Hz refresh rate. And then finally, it's got a two terabyte PCI Express Gen 4 SSD. So it's certainly no slouch with specs aimed squarely at gamers. The experience is gonna be pretty good with specs like that. And the force enabled WASD keys from Paratech found inside this laptop aim to take that experience even further. So let's look at the customizable WASD keys in a bit more detail. First off, who are Paratech? Well, they're pretty big in the realms of tactile user interfaces. Their tech can be found in lots of different devices from smartphones to NASA robots. Their recent focus on pushing their 3D touch input technology to consumer electronics has led to the Lenovo laptop collaboration that we're checking out today. The WASD keys found in this Legion laptop look and feel exactly like your run of the mill standard laptop keys, but sitting underneath those keycaps is where they're quite different. Each key has the ability to sense a range of different input forces. Think pressing the key lightly to walk, slightly harder to run and then full force to climb. Assassin's Creed seems like the perfect game for something like this and I'll be testing that later in the video. The force input can be fully customized and tweaked to be as sensitive as you like and what's more, they can even emulate a controller which will be music to the ears of anyone who's ever tried to play a racing game with a keyboard with the traditional on off inputs being dreadful for trying to steer with any type of precision. I personally think the idea is brilliant and I love that Paratech and Lenovo are trying to innovate on the traditional keyboard experience. It's products like this that push technology forward and leads to a new way of us using our gadgets. Now you might be sitting there wondering how do these differ to analog optical keyboard switches as I did when I first heard about these keys before the laptop was sent out for me to review. Whereas analog optical switches use light to detect when and how far each key has been pressed, the Paratech system is fully analog. It's a regular key that sits on top of a sensor that will read how much force has been applied to that key. Think of the old iPhone haptic home buttons and you're on the right track. This opens up possibilities for assigning many more actions to that range of motion than the simple on-off system that is usually found on almost every keyboard in the world. Now the idea will only take this so far though, the execution and the software backing it up is where it's really make or break. Paratech's Hydra software and Game Bar widget are where all of the setup and customization for the keys are made. Let's go over that Hydra software and I'll show you how all of this works. There are some pre-installed profiles for some of the more popular games already set up within Hydra when you first open it up, along with the ability to create new profiles and link them to any game that you've got installed on the machine. Any preset or created profiles are shown on the left of the game profiles tab and then customization options are on the right. With a profile selected and assigned to a game, which links to the executable so it will automatically activate when that game is running, you can then assign actions to each of the keys and tweak the amount of force it takes for them to be activated. I'm going to use Assassin's Creed Valhalla as an example as I mentioned it a moment ago. The character will walk with a light press, run with a more forceful press, and then climb with full pressure applied to that W key. 
The amount of force required for each assigned action can be adjusted by simply sliding the cutoff points along the bar that you'll find in the middle, and actions assigned to each pressure point can be changed by using the menus just off to the right. And what's more, the keys can emulate a controller analog stick like I mentioned earlier, something which is just amazing in racing games. I'm going to talk about that more in the gaming section of the video in a little bit. And just like creating profiles for games, you can also create new actions and assign whatever key combinations you like to them, kind of like making a macro. While most actions are going to be movement based, as that's typically what the WASD keys are used for, there's nothing to stop you assigning, for example, the reload action to a firm press on the W key, which that could be useful for a slick, fast reload in a shooter game. You can tag actions to make them easier to find and then link them to profiles for use in games. Moving on to the configuration tab, which is, in my opinion, the most important place to spend some time in this software. This is where you're going to configure how much force it takes to fully activate a key, something which will slightly differ for everyone. And before I went through and set this up properly, it felt like I was having to press the keys way too hard to get them to max out. But after running through the calibration and setting them up to my style, they instantly felt much better. Each key can have its pressure curve adjusted with a range of presets to change how it processes and reads how much pressure you're putting on, or you can fully customize it and tweak it to your liking. Now I've got to be honest, the software was a tad overwhelming to begin with, but once I'd taken some time to go through everything and figure out how I wanted the keys to be set up, everything became a lot more simple. Once I'd finished configuring and setting up the keys to my liking, I got to gaming. And I'm going to start this gaming section off by saying this. Using these keys when configured to emulate a controller input and then playing racing games is very, very cool. I've never experienced a racing game feeling like it does with a keyboard until I tried this. I hopped into some Formula 1 2022 and ran a time trial and it just felt natural. Much more natural than using a standard keyboard. Feathering the steering inputs and braking worked like a charm. And talking about that Assassin's Creed experience that I mentioned earlier, running, walking, sprinting and climbing never required me to do anything other than press the WAS and D keys with different amounts of force. I didn't have to reach for the shift key or the spacebar once. The absolute peak of laziness and also convenience. Leaning in shooters like PUBG or Tarkov, for example, took a little bit of getting used to. And without spending the time to properly calibrate the keys, it could end up with an accidental lean blowing your chances of getting a chicken dinner. I haven't said that for years, chicken dinner, during when that was a theme. While in a game, you can quickly and easily select different profiles, link games, turn the features on and off, or adjust settings on the fly by using the widget that can be added to the Xbox game bar screen. A quick press of the Windows and G keys will get you configured without having to quit the game and head back to the desktop, which is a really nice little touch that adds to the user experience when gaming and using this Hydra system. So if you're like me, then you're probably going to look at these force sensitive keys initially as a bit of a gimmick. That's exactly what I thought to begin with. But once I'd spent some time playing with them, that quickly changed. This is the sort of innovation that we need in technology. Paratech are thinking outside of the box and pushing to add new levels of interaction to the traditional gaming laptop, and I, for one, think that's great. It can't be a bad thing. The Hydra software that is used for configuring the keys is laid out pretty well. It's got a clean user interface and keeps all of the required settings grouped together nicely. As I mentioned, it took me a little while to figure out what I was doing, but once I'd got everything straight, it all made sense and worked as it should. The keys themselves feel no different to a standard laptop key, but I'm going to stress just one more time, it's absolutely imperative that you configure them correctly, otherwise the experience is ruined by having to press the keys ridiculously hard. Now overall, I do feel this is quite a niche product or innovation, whatever you want to call it, but it works and it feels great. Paratech are currently developing a laptop keyboard with full analog force input coverage, something which could be interesting for typists if they can get the input sensitive dialed in right. Maybe it could be time to say goodbye to the caps lock key, for example, and just press the key down a bit harder to get a capital letter. They're also working on linking the analog sensors to RGB lighting, which will change and react depending on the force that is applied to the key. 
I think that sounds really cool and I'm excited to see how that works. So I was pleasantly surprised on how these laptop keys worked and I love the drive by a company to do things differently and challenge the norm. And that's the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. We'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to KitGuru to keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews on like new exciting products like this. If you go down into the video's description, you'll find links to our Discord server, our website, our Patreon page, if you want to go and check that out over there and support us a bit more, uh, and our brand new merch store where you can pick up one of these t-shirts. Look at it, it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt, and these, this has been a laptop. These have been the Paratech Force Analog Sensitive Keys with the Hydra software. I will speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. See you later.